Well, closer to the afternoon, we really started to watch those pockets of rain pop up across the Concho Valley, really definitely hitting some of those spots, keeping those conditions cool. Temperatures definitely reaching that level of uh, definitive convection, letting us know that we're going to make sure we see a lot of rain shower activity. But it's going to clear up over the next couple hours and into this evening, if not already right now, seeing it, those temperatures really drop down as a result of those clearing conditions. Right now, we're hanging out in the 80 degree mark, way cooler than we would be usually this time in the previous weeks and previous months, usually hanging out in the upper 90 marks still holding on to that daytime heating but really letting go a lot of that heat right now as tomorrow is going to shape up to be a clearer day looking at those temperatures across the board really hanging out in that shade of yellow as everyone is down in that 80 degree mark we're really going to continue that cool down into those lower 70s tonight it's going to be a great night just to get out there and hang out and really take in some of that cooler weather definitely grateful that it was a cooler day today when you're moving in there at asu F grateful for those moments right now we're looking at the dew points and relative humidity could continue to see a lot of ro spotty rain shower activity but these dew points and these relative humidity percentage is really going to dry out overnight. Could be a humid start for sure in the morning, but going to be definitely cooler. We're going to watch the heat dome slowly push off to the west, kind of weakening. We're going to watch this long wave pattern really deepen across there, and that's going to cause a lot of northwesterly flow really across Texas and that Concho Valley as it starts to collide with a lot of that wind over the Gulf Coast. We can see a lot more of that moisture work its way in from the eastern parts of Texas, hopefully helping out firefighters in that region right now with the severe weather outlook really hanging out still to the northeast of the nation and we're seeing a lot of those storms really develop. I'm going to show you a time lapse over the last 24 hours really as you watch this high pressure create this sort of line of rotation across Texas kind of looking at it in a different orientation as a tropical storm Harold or what's left really kind of shows you a sort of a developing occluded front pattern somewhere strange that is forming in a lot of that heat anyway getting back more towards the subject we're seeing a lot of that convection pushing in from the west lifting those storms and then again causing it to evaporate really keeping it along the conscious Valley as areas of Arizona, Utah, Colorado, Wyoming really in the bullseye range for Tropical Storm Harold to dump a lot of rain in that region. Over the next 24 hours or so, we're going to see those conditions really dry out like we were talking about. And then by Friday, we're talking about that westerly wind or easterly wind really pushing in a lot of that rain shower activity across the Concho Valley. And that's going to continue to be the pattern as we make our way into the weekend, really seeing those on and off afternoon thunderstorms. Finally, a lot of that rain that we've been talking about making its way to us. So tonight, we're going to be dropping down into those lower 70s again hanging on to a lot of that cloud cover and then tomorrow we're going to try to make a run at those triple digits but a lot of those cooler temperatures could hold that off but letting you know those skies are really going to clear could see gustier conditions as we're seeing that easterly flow really pick up causing a lot of that thunderstorm activity we definitely want that cool air to really come into the region and lift that warm moist air up into the atmosphere and that'll help us see a lot of that necessary rain again we're going to watch those temperatures really hang out into those triple digit it's going to be a good weekend for football and then by the time we end that fifth week of august we're going to watch those temperatures really drop down, keeping those lows right where we want them to be in the atmosphere optimal to see a lot of that afternoon thunderstorm activity. Stay tuned. We'll have more after the break. You're watching KSAN News at 10.